Welcome back for another episode. Um, this is a new series that I'm going to call I have no idea what I'm doing but let's see if it works. Basically today I've got some Dreamcast controllers, uh, taking them apart and I'm going to spray paint them. Um, I've got some automotive spray paint, matte black, um, and to be honest I have no idea what I'm doing but let's give it a go. So uh, as I said, I've uh, disassembled the uh, controllers already. These ones are a bit knackered already, so don't worry about me ruining ones. They're just sun bleached and they've had stickers on and all stuff like that. So um, I'm not ruining anything that's uh, that's a prized possession or anything like that. Um, first things first, I've washed them, I'm getting all the grime and all the dirt off. Um, yeah, as I say, it's uh, it's all a bit. They're all a little bit knackered. They've uh, got a little divots on and you know scuffed up so we're not losing anything but as I say I've washed them uh, and then we're going to um, just key them up. One thing I do know is that if you're going to spray paint or paint on anything you need to key it so getting a bit of sandpaper scrubbing it up making sure the paint can adhere to the surface okay. Um, so I'll do that I'm not going to show that process because it's essentially just getting a piece of sandpaper not too, um, not too rough a grit rubbing it all over, making sure it's a bit scuffed up and then um, we'll give it a spray paint so uh, next uh, next shot should be uh, me painting obviously having no idea what I'm doing but uh, let's give it a go, it's not going to harm is it? Ok so I've uh, sanded up the surface I've also rinsed it again to get rid of all the uh, particles from the sanding and um, I suppose we're going to spray paint now as I say I have no idea what I'm doing but uh, give it a go, see what happens So that's, that was the first coat done, so what I'll do is I'll let it dry, pop another coat on, probably do three or four coats, just, uh, just layer it up, just so the uh, the paint's not pulling, and it uh, should be good, so I'll uh, let this one dry, and we'll be back with some more coats. So this is the finished product, so I've probably got about six or seven coats on the, uh, on the top bits, five, four maybe on the, um, on the bottom bits. Um, Mistakes made? Yes. Um, on the top bits I used uh, 80 grit sandpaper, probably a bit too rough. Um, not sure if you can see but on the edges here you can still see the, uh, the sandpaper marks. On the backs I actually used uh, a scouring pad which worked a lot better. I have to say that's come out really well. Um, other mistakes, I actually ended up using two cans of spray paint, just the cheap stuff from the pound shop, which doesn't hold a few, huge amount in, to be honest. Um, as I say, a few mistakes. When it's coming to the end of a can, you're going to end up with spitting, uh, and you get little bubbles coming, and it doesn't give you a very smooth finish. So, uh, as I show on that one, not the greatest finish, but overall, it's, it's not too bad for a first attempt. I have to say, I might scuff it up a little bit more, try to get off these uh, off these bumps and give it another coat. Um, I haven't done the uh, the memory card covers on the Dreamcast controller only because I can't get a replacement sticker for this and if I use black you're not going to see the sticker underneath if you peel it off. Um, uh, to be honest I think it'll look good anyway. Um, so it's just a case of reassembling. Uh, I'm not going to put any lacquer on or anything like that because 
at the end of the day it's only a Dreamcast controller. Um, I think if it was you know a showpiece or something you're going to use every day then lacquer would obviously help because I don't know how well the spray paint is going to you know react to sweat and, and scratches and what have you and lacquer would obviously help that, uh, resist that. But um, I have to say it's turned out alright as I say a few little bits and pieces that I might do again or learn uh, lessons for next time but I'm going to try to do uh, the Shell of Dreamcast once I get some time. Uh, and I will show another video of that. Um, but yeah, not too bad and we've got some awesome looking black Dreamcast controllers. That's it for this episode. Um, see you next time.